a custom backdrop to your Scratch project. And by custom backdrop, I mean perhaps in this white background that we normally associate with having the cat start in, maybe we'd like to add our own picture in there that we took maybe with our own camera, our own phone, or an image that we found on the internet or whatnot. But that's what I mean by custom backdrop. So the way that I'll do that is as follows here. If you navigate all the way down here to the lower right corner of your screen, you see a little icon that sort of looks like a picture of a couple mountains. Just click on that, and that's how you normally would add a backdrop in Scratch. But if you go all the way to the top, there's a little icon called Upload Backdrop. And if you click on that, then what I'm immediately greeted with is a file navigation menu from my computer. This is what my Macintosh looks like, but your Windows computer uh, may look different. But in either case, you'll want to now just to navigate somehow to the image that you'd like to put in as a backdrop. So you have to get that image on your computer somehow first. So I just have this JPEG here, picture I took from my camera a long time ago, just a statue, suppose I want to use that as a backdrop, and I hit choose. I see two things happen right away. The first thing is that the backdrop is already placed behind the cat. You can see it over here, it's sort of ready to go. And the second thing that I see is it immediately loads my picture of the backdrop into this sort of crude image editor here that has a few drawing capabilities here. Like for instance, I can choose this purple color here if I want and this brush here and I can go ahead and even draw on my backdrop if I'm so motivated. You can see the drawing will appear over here, but I'm essentially done. And you can also go up here and call your backdrop something you'd like. I've called it statue here, so you can refer to it later. I'll show you in just a second. But in either case, I'm kind of done. So like if I go to code, for example, here and click on the sprite for the cat, then I can go ahead then and just proceed with my scratch project here. I'll just throw something together quickly here just to get the cat gliding around the screen. I can sort of proceed with my scratch project here. And you see the scratch, the cat is indeed sort of moving and interacting with my custom backdrop. Um, and the other thing that's kind of interesting about this is that the statue backdrop that I uploaded or whatever you named yours also is going to start appearing under this looks category. For example, you can see right here I have the icon here that says switch backdrop to statue and I can sort of choose what backdrop I might want to show as my program runs. So that's kind of interesting as well, so just keep that block in mind. But that in a nutshell is how you update Scratch to have a custom backdrop. It all starts with this icon here and all the way at the top, upload backdrop.